Welcome back, Primation. Right, so at the moment, I have just run the whole way from the base around to the right-hand side, up the edge, and back here because if you look by the top of the map just there, can you see it? It's a level 112 Alpha T-Rex. Now, actually, there is actually level 40 Alpha T-Rex up there, and that's why I brought the Spino. This thing has literally just spawned because there was an Alpha 40 I was coming to fight. I don't know if we can kill this. Um, it, it could be a very bad idea, but we're going to go for it. Welcome back, Formation. How are you? If you missed the last episode, I will link it in the top right-hand corner. We're going to try and stay in the water. Try and use this buff to tr see if we can see if we can kill it. If not, I'm probably going to go out to the ocean. Yeah, come backwards. I'm going to try... Right, stamina may be a thing. Oh, it's not going for me. Um, yeah, we're going to go to the ocean. We're going to use the ocean to try and stay safe. We get the buff. We can probably swim out there. Things go a little bit pear-shaped. But I think we, we might be okay. I don't know. We're going to see. He's a tiny bit bloody, a tiny bit. We're doing great damage compared to what he's doing to us. We should be all right, actually. But he should give us a, some good some good items. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. But today's episode, if we can kill this guy, that is. Today's episode is, I want to try and get him on the caves, get on the artifacts. I want to get the brood mother taken on either next episode or the episode after. So we can go for definitely one of the caves, hopefully for a second. The only problem is, I've been trying to get Baryonyx. Um, and I've not seen more than like a level 60 or so. And yeah, it's not really going very well. So we might just take Roosterfield, our direwolf in there. I kind of hope for the best. I've done a little test. It went okay. It kind of didn't go to plan, but it kind of did, if that makes sense. So we, we may test that. I'm going to try and kill this guy, and if possible, try and get the level faultless up there as well. He is getting bloody. We're doing okay. We're doing better than I thought we'd do. But if we can get down, we'll do the level 40 as well and try and get some good gear. Um, our armor's a bit shattered, and it's, it's not doing too well. Let's see if we can get, well, kill this bad boy right here. Bang. We did it. Right, what did we get? I've killed some alpha rex uh, sorry alpha raps along the way we got oh what's this uh two okay right uh 129 172 uh 179 so it wasn't better than what we got but we got this so what we could do now i think it's shift and pull yes and then put that on there that is what we're after that right there that shows that you're an alpha rex killer oh wrong button <laughs> nice okay so, so we took it down let's see if the other one is up here Oh, we need to eat real quick. Let's see if the other one's up there. Because if it is, we're definitely, definitely going to take it on. Every tech thing I see, I'm just taking out. So, as I say today, let's quickly get back in here. What we're going to do, we're going to try and do a cave. Also, we're going to get into some base building slash electronics. So, what we're going to do is get the generator up and going, all that kind of stuff and things. I have got a few things that I've sorted uh, in the background. I will show you when we get back. But before we do, I want to see if this Alpha Rex is still up here. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. I think I see it. Right, we won't have... Yes, is that it? It is... Two Alpha Rexes. Oh, level 24. Oh, that's a different one. It was definitely level 40 here before. And now it's a 24 and a 112. And I haven't done any, any you know, um, dino apps or anything. But these guys are so fast and so powerful. Come on, guy. Come on. Let's do this. Um, I have been on the lookout for a better Dire Wolf. I have been on the lookout for a better um, Saber. Like I put a nice saddle one. And to be honest, there's just been no levels. Uh, no good levels on any of them. So I've been a bit... Um, reluctant to do dino wipes because i've seen all these alphas and i'm like you know what i want to take them on oh, oh my god without this water buff we're not doing too well against this guy um yeah i, I didn't want to dino wipe because i've seen all of these alphas everywhere and i want to kill them and get their good um items that they drop i have been looking for some good drops for us to actually go and get but you know what there's just been none around so yeah unlike other youtubers i'll be honest i don't spawn things in i won't spawn in like a max level spino you didn't give us anything like, I won't spawn in max level stuff. I'll go and find it. If it's not there, then we do without. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm not one to spawn things in. So the reason why we haven't got the best of the best dinos is because I, I just go by potluck. If it's there, we get it. If it's not, we'll make do without. Did we get anything? We'll just throw some of these bad boys away. Take that. Take that. Uh, we've got loads of this pack of base. We didn't get... Uh, oh, we've got a trophy. Okay, we've got two trophies. <laughs> But not much. Uh, do you know what? More health is always a good thing. Yeah, that's it. I was here earlier. Reason why. You see that bad boy there? This Ankylosaurus. I found a level 104 Anki. I picked one of them up. I brought it halfway back to base. I got to around... I'd say around 70 down and about 40 across. No, sorry, sorry. 70 across, 50... 70 down, 50 across, sorry. I got about there and I had to go and land for stamina and it died. I went out and found another one which is currently tame and I think it's like a 1-0. Uh, no, it's not. It's a 96 that's being tamed now. So the good one we, we have no longer got, but the, the, the lower level we found, which is currently taming. Either way, look, I do know where a level... No, I don't, where a Carno is, sorry, an Alpha Carno. We're going to go and take it out right now. 
Right, it was here somewhere because I was checking. Oh, that's right there. I was checking out these bad boys. There was one here that was 112. That's a 92. Um, Vernon was saying that they're absolutely amazing against bugs. They're great taking caves. Only some of the caves they fit in. But over here was a 112. Let's see if it's still here. Oh, I think that's you right there. Are you the 112? You're a 20. 116, sorry. Here you go. 116 right here. We're going to try and tame him at another point. Right now, let's take on this Alpha 40. Alpha Carno. Head back. Sort out the electrics. I want to actually breed one more Spino. Um, I'll show you why when we get back as well. Uh, where's he gone? I'll show you when we get back. Uh, I'm going to have to draw him down to the water for the little, uh, the little buff if we can. And then, yeah, we're going to go and try and get some caves and see if we can get some artifacts. And just as Sod's Law has it, the minute I start recording is the minute next door starts doing renovations. <laughs> We're back at base. Look at all the gear that we picked up in that short, what, 20-ish minutes? Uh, yeah, about 20-ish minutes. All of bits and pieces. That's actually pretty decent. 160. Oh, nice. 181. I wouldn't even see that. Nice. 176, 179, 179. But you know what? This and this is pretty bloody good. As you can see, we've got all the electronics from all the things that we uh, we killed. Some elemental dust. But before we go inside, you may notice there's a couple of Spinos here today because I bred Cooper Fang with Spino. And actually, we need to call this one as well. That was a name in the suggestions. We call her, bang, Miss Fang. Boom. So Cooper Fang and Miss Fang have had a uh, jiggy jiggy time a couple of times. And they produced Baby One. Baby One, as we know, didn't go too well. And we couldn't actually... Um, do an imprint. So off camera, I went and I done some server changes and I tried baby two. Baby two actually couldn't imprint as well. I think now baby three, which is about to be hatched in a minute, uh, should allow us to imprint. So if I jump onto baby two and I press H, look at the top right hand corner. I'll zoom in now actually. Top right hand corner, see here? When I hold H, it says rider imprinted 0% damage, 0% resist 0%. But when you imprint on the baby, that actually goes up. So it actually means that the dino that you breed and a dino that you take care of and help grow actually gives better resistance, better damage and better uh, something else as well, um, health. So we are going to do that right now actually. Before we get into anything else, we'll do that. Let's unload Cooper Fang and let's breed baby number three. Fertilize egg, bang, give me that bad boy. Give me some meat from Mr. Fang. And I did notice as well, obviously Cooper Fang was a 114, I believe. So he's current level 222. And Miss Feng was a 108, and she is like a damn sight weaker. 1171 melee, one, uh, sorry, 24,000 health. He's now 134,000 health, 1,500 melee. So he is like a, a lot stronger. Oh, sorry, she? Hold up. Uh, she is a lot stronger than he, and he is now a she, Miss Feng. <laughs> so, yes, actual Cooper Feng, Lady Cooper Feng, is actually a lot stronger than Miss Feng, which, yeah, I, 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 that's pretty interesting stuff. Uh, both babies come out, was it 162, and I missed the other one. So we're going to hopefully get a bigger than a 162 now. Did I actually get some meat? I did. Right, let's uh, relight my fire. Bang, 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 bang. And this should, this should allow, oh crap, I think I just pressed J. I didn't, okay. J is to call all, by the way. So if you actually press J, it calls everyone. Right, incubate in, all well and good. Two minutes, 30. Right, let's wait for this to pop. All right, 20 seconds to go. This is the last spine I'm actually going to breed on camera. All the others I will do off cam and I'll raise them from baby to, you know, uh, to grown up. And I will level them off cam as well, just like I did with baby one, baby two. Um, but going forward, all of the ones that I hatch now will all be put into health. All points will be put into health to get ready for the brood mother boss. But here we go, zero. Spino, 163. Okay, uh, 163. Let's just do that. And then we throw some food in you to keep you going. Right, once care in eight minutes, so I can show you now. Right, I turned it right down because, again, the other one was like eight hours, <laughs> so I turned it right down. Hopefully, I can I'll show you this really good now. Right, now, now I can show you imprinting. Come on, come on, baby spanner 163. Come on, walk over the fire, burn your tootsies. There we go. Come on, come on, over encumbered little guy. Don't die on the fire. Come on, come on. Out you get. Look how big his feet are. <laughs> I love these little things, they're so cool. Seven minutes, right, perfect, right. You just stay there for one second. Let me turn these bad boys off. Right, the reason why I want to get into electronics is I want to turn this into a proper incubation pin. So this, I want to have air, uh, excuse me, guy. Try to make a video. What level are you? You're level 36, get the air out of here. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to turn this, I'm going to put some air cons in here. Air cons means you don't need fires. And the, I think it's like five or six air cons will basically breed any animal you want, which is just fantastic. So we keep all the food in this guy. Again, my settings are changed. Right, I am not going to do too much because I really want to show you this. So I will bring you back in seven minutes when it's time to give him, give him care and show you exactly what it is that we need to do to uh, increase his stats. So in preparation for the caves, I've actually just made a quick few sleeping bags right here. 
And we are going to take Alex out in the morning after we finish with um, baby three. Yeah, baby three here. It says that want, oh, wants care in 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven. Once it counts down, it's going to want something like a cuddle or go for a walk. It might want a certain food, but we're going to find out now. What does it want to do? It wants... Uh, wants to be hand-fed food, cooked prime meat. Oh crap! Um, right, okay, let's let's get good thing, and let's go quickly find some prime meat. Ah, oh, Sarko, you'll do. Right, so what you're supposed to do is have things ready. Like you're supposed to have kibble ready. You're supposed to have prime meat ready. You're supposed to have like eggs ready. Do we only have 25 prime meat? Right, can we get back in time? What we need to do now is get back, cook it, because if you don't give them what they want quickly then the effectiveness of the stats increase actually reduces, I believe. A lot's changed since I last actually played Arcus, I keep saying. But I believe now, if I uh, the longer it takes me to actually give them what they want, the lower affinity increase they will get. So let's quickly get this back, cook it up, and feed it to this guy. Right now, give me all this. Nice jump off. Go, oh, come on, speed is of the essence, guy. All right, jump out of the way, open the door. Quick, 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 throw it in here. Bang, 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 bang. turn on. Go, right, hopefully now, how long have you got on here? You have four minutes. Oh, we should be okay. So what we need to do is put in the lost slot. So once it cooks, I'll quickly show you. We'll throw more in there just in case. When you've got the industrial grip, it makes things so much easier. We might actually work on that today, but come on, come on, come on. I'll keep you around just so you can see how intense it gets sometimes. This looks really nice. It's like a proper leg of lamb. <sighs> can murder some of that. Right. Cooked prime meat. And you go back over to this guy. Last slot. Press E. Bang. Imprint plus 50%. So he was on 2,700 health. Actually, I could put a screenshot on the left here now of what he was on and on the right here now of what he is on. So as you can see, his melee has gone up. His health has gone up to 2,300. Although both those babies over there started with 3,500. He started with 2,700. So his health was actually lower. But due to the imprinting, he's opened up by 500 points. And this went up by quite a bit as well. I don't recall what it was. I'm, obviously, you can see. I'll try and put on a screen here if I remember. But yeah, it's on 500. So if we can get... Well, how long is he on? He's on 58%. I don't think we'll get another imprint. But if we can, when he grows up, when we jump on him like this and we hold H... Uh, not this guy. If we jump on this one. There we go. And we press H. Uh, top right corner, zero imprint. This will now say 50. So I believe it will now have 50% more damage and 50% more resistance or something along those lines. So, um, yeah, we're kind, of, we're kind of learning as we go. But the, mo the most important thing is now we know how to do it. We know how to do it. We've got the server. Oh, sorry, we knew how to do it. We've got the server settings all jolly good and ready to go and rubbish from others, brother, and all that kind of good stuff. So, all in all, if I, I don't think because it went to 60-ish percent yeah, I reckon it go 100% before the time's up. But at least we know. At least we know now. We can get 100% for sure on the next one as long as we've got what we need. Best that this bad boy grow up. In the meantime, is it worth sticking around? Uh, it might be. But what I have done... I actually crafted up and dyed up and painted up a load of flak armor. It's super easy to make you go into armor, metal, and you craft bits and pieces. So we've got standard armor, 100, 100, 100, 100. We're currently rocking 100, 104, 50. So the only thing worth wearing is probably the legs, but we're going to save that for a minute. We're going to save that. You may have noticed if you have a keen eye. If we go into here and we type in fabricator, it only takes cement paste, crystal, metal ingots, oil, and spark powder. We did have all that. I actually crafted one. One is ready to rock on. We're going to place this bad boy. Oh, oh, lag. We're going to place this bad boy right here. It should fit. Just about fit. Uh, that's about straight. Bang. We've gone from the smithy to the fab. Now, the fabricator needs uh, to be hooked up to the electrics or it needs gas. And I've got this ready pre stream So, you've got the gas out of there. And to, oh, sorry. To make gas, what you need to do is put some oil and some hide into a furnace. And that's how you make gas. But all in all, we can now turn this on. Once turned on, we can make things. So we can now make, um, yeah, these ones here. The, uh, what is it? Pheromone dart ammo. You need animal bowels. Yeah, we haven't got that yet. Um, but they're, they're like really good stuff. Uh, the assault rifle is incredible. This, I believe, we can use for taming, I believe. Uh, primitive, what we've got ranged. <gasps> the compound bow, nice. But what we want to do, we want to go into structures. We want to go into electrical. Bang, generator. Electricals and metal ingots, right? We should have all the electrics from all of the bloody things that we've killed. All of the tech dinos. I've just been saving and saving and saving. Do we have any ingots? Uh, we do have ingots. Let's take uh, all of that and half of that. Leave some in there just in case what's more bullets. Bang. And let's see now. Uh, structures. Electrical. And we want this one. And a straight wire. Oh, sorry, straight wire. And we need some wood. Let's get a little bit of wood. And my OGD uh, Goldie Dad Moonblister. One of our most 
long-term <laughs> supporters of the channel is also playing this. So, dude, when you see this, this is what you do. You go to electricals, sorry, go to electrical, you do the generator, you need one of these wires, and you also need a box. And the idea is you connect all these together, and then you can literally connect up all electrics to everything. So we're going to keep that there for a moment. What we're going to look at now, as I said earlier, is this bad boy. We need polymer and crystal. Have we even got crystal? I mean, we've got a bit at the beginning of the game. Uh, 85, that is not a lot. Here's the 85. Uh, polymer, we've got organic polymer. Will you count or do you need actual polymer polymer? Let's have a look. Let's put the actual polymer in there. Uh, structures. Electrical. Oh, it does. <gasps> Should we get a fridge? Now, how many can we make? We can make two. Uh, is there anything else we need to make? Cooking. <gasps> right, this is the industrial forge. That is incredible. The grinder. This is amazing too. Cooking. The industrial forge. We could probably make that. <gasps> oh, so much to make. Um... Okay, let's go with this, this, and this. And this is just ingots, which we have here. We can make that. We can just steal some of this. We can go into here. We can throw that in there. Structures. Electric. Uh, oh, no, we need... Ah, uh, no, we need a couple more. <laughs> no, why you do that to me? That's one of good... Right, it's bad boy off. It's noisy. Nice. Right, so we've got the electricals. We've got the wire. We've got the box. And we haven't got... We've got one aircon. Uh, where's the second... Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> Such an idiot. Once that pops out, bang. Now turn off. Good stuff. Right, are you done? Do you need care? Two minutes. Oh, let's bring you away from the building just a little bit. Oh, oh, lag. Get a lot of lag today. Let's try and drag you away just a little bit because you're just a little bit annoying. No? Can we get you outside? Probably can't, but let's just try. Come on. Over the wall. You're a big boy. There we go. You're a boy or a girl? You're a big boy. <laughs> right, you have 2 minutes 39. I, I don't think we can imprint again. We'll definitely try, though. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pick these bad boys up. Right, so they're now gone. That's now empty in there. So is it worth putting... Is that a yellow drop? Uh, no, it's not. Is it worth putting the generator in here? Because we haven't got much room in here. We could have a second floor. I want to really build, build. But I need to get a Dodicarus. And I just can't find a high-level one at the moment. So I don't really want to tame a crappy one for the sake of taming a crappy one. How big are you? You're not too big, but there's nowhere to really put you in here, is there? Uh, let's see if you'll fit in here. Is it worth even putting you in here? Let's have a little look. I suppose, yeah, tons of space. There's there's a load of space. Let's put you on the right-hand side. Uh, can we K-mode you at all? Uh, can we K-mode you now? No, we can't. Okay. So let's just do this. You're hanging out the edge? You're not. And then we need the wire on there and the box on there. So you probably can't see the wire. I'll try and show you on the floor, actually. Uh, it's just a, see it? a little wire. It usually clips into the floor. Bang. And then if we add the, oh, the box is right here. Bang, right. So we've got the, the generator, the wire, the box. This is what actually connects and powers things up. Do you need to be done yet? So I want to keep an eye on just in case we can do it one more time. 54 seconds. Oh, we, we should be able to. So if we quickly just place these super duper quick. Uh, one and two. Uh, number four, we'll place it right uh, here. And number six, you notice that wire automatically bang, pinged onto it. So we'll, we'll sort that in just a second now. Now two probably won't be enough, so I'll probably just get a few more 32 seconds. I'll probably get a few more um, hooked up in the background to get more of these guys going to save having to use all the fires and everything. Uh, why do I come in here? I come in here for some cook meat. Nope, for some cook meat. Yes. Uh, put out fire just in case he wants more cook meat. Let's have a check. What do you want for the next imprint? If it says cuddle, we just got to press E. It's the easiest thing. Ten seconds left. Let's have a look. But all in all, oh, hungry myself. All in all, if we can just get a couple of, I say couple, if we can get the right, you know, the right babies, we get some really good stats. What do you want? He wants to go for a walk. So you press T. You call him. Oh, bang, fifty percent. He's now following, and that's it. Finito. So he is now fully grown, almost fully grown. So what's your stats? It's now 3,600 energy, 540. That is really bloody good. That is, that was like a 40 point increase. Jesus. Dude, you're, you're, you're an animal. <laughs> you're an absolute animal. Stamina's 1-1. I don't know if that's good or not. Um, the rest is kind of not important, but 100 imprinting. That is the important part right there. And I'll show you why in a second once he's fully done, 98%. Let me quick show you the generator whilst we can. Let me grab some fuel from the smithy. No, from the this thing here. What's it called? I always forget. Uh, from the fabricator, that's it. And then we're going to throw this bad boy right in here. So we've got our generator. We've got our... Oh, 
We've got our generator, <laughs> we've got our line, and we've got our box. That then connects to these two here. So if we check our temperature, it, so inside it's 296 and 95. Turn this bad boy on. What's our temperature? 296 and now three, oh, sorry, 480 and 306. So all in all, it's like amazing. Um, if you've got four or five of these, like everything, like every single egg will just hatch with these just sitting here and it's all running good. And now we've got this as well. We can connect this to everything. We can get fridges and lights and all sorts. Now we've got electrics. I feel like it's time to maybe build a bigger base, <laughs> but not in this episode because today we're going to check out this new guy, this new girl with 100% imprint. You're done. Baby three. Baby three is done, right? Pick up this egg just because I don't like to watch them go into waste. And I know you get kibble's changed. Last time I done kibble primation. Oh crap. Last don't give me this just to save me from jumping up. Last time I done kibble, I'm not kidding. It was like you have to get each individual egg from each individual, come on, from each individual dinosaur and do your own individual kibble for each. It was madness. But it, it, it seems now we're running good. So this is the new one. And stats are 3,600, 1,001. That is amazing. Jesus, this melee is going to be absolutely crazy. Um, all in all, I think I'll just pump a ton into health. Because as long as we can imprint, we'll be good. So let me show you how imprinting works. So baby one and baby two, as you all know, didn't imprint well. So I'm going to show you now. In baby one, when we hop onto baby one and we hold H, top right hand corner, imprint 0%, damage 0%, resistance 0%. Now, let's take the saddle. Got to make more saddles and let's go on to the new one which we fully imprinted and we throw the saddle on and we jump up and we press H. Right, imprint uh, 100%. So the damage is plus 30% and the resistance is plus 30%. So we do 30% more damage and obviously we take 30% less. I'm probably going to take this guy for a little spin. <laughs> I want to see how well he does. I want to see how he holds up against a few, a few guys and girls and how his levels actually increase as we fight. So yeah, let me, uh, let me kill a few bits. And then we're going to go and do some caving. And we're coming in for landing. So all in all, look at that. 1,700. I actually pumped him because I think this may be our new personal dino. I think it may be overtaking Cooper Fane. Let's go and check their stats super quick because, honestly, the, the melee on this thing is so bloody strong. As you can see, super hurt. That's only because I pumped so much energy into him. So he's on 30k, 1, 2, and 1,400. Let's have a quick check what Cooper's on. Let's have a quick check. He's on... Three, four, two thousand, and one thousand five hundred. But because of the boost that we've got, he's actually doing so much more damage. So he's on two oh three. He's on two. So a good twenty levels higher. I think this could potentially be more powerful than that, especially with the imprint bonus. So um, yeah, this this is the new uh, this is the new Dino. I think <laughs> I think this is our new baby. To be fair, but yeah, I need to get some more levels probably off camp. Oh, I've just noticed something. Oh, oh, I've just seen it. Are you following? You're not good stuff. Right, need new names and new name suggestions in the comment section below before our new um, buddy-induced baby. Come on, well, Alec Anki137. This is the guy that I said I was taming at the beginning of the video. Uh, you can go into... Is it melee or weight? I think it's weight we go into. Oh, that doesn't do much. Jesus. Right, guy, Anki, follow me. Let's go. So this is the guy that I tamed. Anki's a very, 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 very good at getting flint and metal. Um, I'm actually looking for a Dodicarus. I think I said earlier, there's just none. Like, I think the highest scene is level like 40 or level 30 or 40. Like there's just none around. And I don't want to go taming a crappy one for the sake of it. I did with the um with the beaver and I just don't use it because it's just such low level. <laughs> so actually I'm, I'm keeping my eyes open for decent tames. I'm only going to start getting you know, quite quite good tames now as compared to before. But this is the Yankee. He's pretty good. He gets, again, flint and metal and we need him. So I'm probably going to get him, bring him up there, tend to get all, or, or use him to get all of the metals, which is what we need. Um, I actually need stone because I want a baseball, but I can't baseball until we get tons of stone. But Anki, come in here, sir. Let's get you home. Right, we've done quite a bit. We've done the electrics. We've got the Anki. <laughs> we've done the electrics. We've bred the spy. No, we've got him up. He's going to be just an absolute beast once I'm done with him. Um, I think it's time now. Is the light going up or down? I think it's coming up. What's the time? It is nine in the morning. <sighs> Mr. Roosterfield, my friend. I think it's time. I've actually purposely got, oh crap, got rid of things at my inventory. So let's go put these away. And then, yeah, it's time to take our first cave and see if we can get through and actually survive. We, we're probably going to die. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> These things aren't easy to get through. They're really, really not easy to get through. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hoping for the best. I'm praying that we actually survive. Uh, you can just go in here super quick. Uh, bang. Whew, okay, let's, uh, let's see if we can survive this. 
Right, so around this rock should be the cave. It's very, very close to my base. I will show you the coordinates in just a second now. Oh, is that Therizino? These things are bloody deadly. I don't want to be 16. That's not too bad. Uh, you're right in front of the cave, dude. Right, let's quickly run in. I'll get inside and show you the coordinates because they will attack me if not. It does get dark when you get in here, but here's the coordinates. It is uh, latitude 85, longitude 50. And our base, what a little arrow is, the blue arrow, right in front is where our base is. Literally just you know, a couple of minutes from our base, it does get uber dark in here, just in this first bit. Then once you come down here, I believe we can take uh, the torch off because I think you should be able to see. Right, I'll keep the torch out because, um, yeah, just so you can see. But then when he gets to the time where the torch breaks, I didn't think about bringing another one. Then, um, yeah, we're going to have to just gamma up, up. Why is there a track in here? Um, quite high level. What, why is there a track in here? I didn't think of things other than bad guys spawned in here. Unless that's just a misspawn. I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm hoping you can see. I'm guessing you can because I can see pretty clearly. Right down here is where things go wrong. So when you go in this cave, this is like one of the easiest caves, I think, I believe. I can hear bad things. This isn't good. So when we come down here, you have two choices. You can go left, which brings you, I believe, directly to... I think there's a ledge here from a brightly. No, there's no ledge. I thought there was a ledge here. Right, there's a drop. That's a green drop. You can... So I'm really close to the mic. You can get these drops. And if you keep staying here, you can kind of farm them. So you stay here, pick up the drop. Stay here till it respawns. Pick up the drop and keep doing that. But there's no baddies, which I'm quite worried about. There's usually tons of bad guys in here. Uh, no, we seem okay. You seem okay when you give us a uh, parasol ramshackle. Just what the doctor ordered, joking. Ah, oh, here's the ledge. Here's the ledge. So down here, if you jump down here, the artifact is just down there. But we can't get the direwolf back up. Oh, I suppose we can. If we jump down. Sorry, let's start again. I'm rambling because I'm, I'm quite nervous. You come down here and you're faced with a predicament. You come, So here's where you come in. And you come here. You can turn left or you can turn right. When you see these things coming out the wall. So he's like, uh... Yeah, that, like the pulsing thing. That means you're close to a drop or close to the artifact, I believe. Left is the bit of the dupey way to get there. Right is the full way. You go down, around, down, and so on. I think we're going to go left. Because the idea, so I've got itchy nose. I think the idea of what we're going to do is jump down, grab the artifact, and then run the hell out and try to make it to freedom without dying. Now, I didn't put bedroll down, did I? Bugger. Let's, let's quickly do that now. Right, Rooster Phil, this you and me, buddy. Right, bed rolls are down. We're going to jump down here and try and conserve my stamina because that's the one thing that I really struggle with. Also, diamonds aren't the best thing to bring down here. Before I jump, let me explain this. What you want to get yourself is a saber with a good saddle or at least a primitive saddle. This guy has no saddle, so he's got no armor, which doesn't make him the best thing to cave, but he's all we've got. And he was like a level 40. He's a mid-tier, so probably not the best thing to be bringing down here. I don't want to jump. Right, so Vernon was saying you can get like a mega something something. And they're like super strong, super powerful, and great against bugs and that. But I believe this is the way to, again, it's been so long since I've done it. It's been so long. But I believe this is the way, I think we turn a right down here. Or is it left? No, I think it's here. I think it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. Let me uh, let me jump off. And I think we cr crouch. There's the artifact. So what we're going to need to do is watch out for bad guys. I'm going to run, run, grab. Take, run. <laughs> I don't know if there's baddies there, but if there is, Rooster Phil's teeth are ready. No, we, se we seem okay. We we seem okay. As you can see, super easy to get. Not easy to get. If you've got a cryopod, you can just get a grapple and go up there, put your guy in a cryo. I haven't made any just yet. I'm kind of just enjoying the early game bits. We're going to go the hard way home because that's the only way to get out now. Uh, this torch, like it's, I can't see with this torch on. I can just see more without the torch. So now we've got to find a way out. Now we've actually got to go through the cave to try and get home. So I am going to run up and around and find the way out. Oh, that was uber super easy. Oh, right, okay. So we was literally just here. Where's the bad guys? Where are they? So yeah, we, we jumped down there. I literally just went around. I think I just fast forwarded to show you actually. There's not a single bad thing in here. Where's all the spy? I, I'm so like, I know there's bats and spiders and all sorts of bad things, but for some reason we didn't see any, which is quite strange. I wanted to show you how bad like caves are. They're really troublesome. Like, they're not fun. They really, they are not fun. But I, oh, I think we've been let off lightly. For some reason, there's just no spawns, and I, I really don't know why. I really don't know why. 
Okay, I'm not gonna hang around. Let's, let's see if we can get to another cave, maybe. I think the video's probably near its end, actually. Do you know what? Do you know what? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. No, there is straight up zero baddies in here. Like, there's not one. My idea was I'll show you how bad it gets by going the long way around and not seeing a single thing. Like, not one. This is really, really strange. Like, super strange. God damn. Okay, let's get out of here. And there was light. Oh, look, look. Oh, yeah, there we go. Right, and we're out. So I'm going to run back home and show you. So, um, yeah, that was really weird. There was no spawns in there. Like, zero. That's really, really... I've never seen that before in my life. If you know why that might be, please let me know in the comments because I've never seen that. That is really strange. Um, Yeah, but we went in there. We got one of the artifacts, which was super easy. <laughs> there is two more to get before we can even consider... Take... No, you're a track. Before we even consider taking on the brood mother, we've got two more to get. You have to get three, and that's to take on the easy brood mother. There is also, there's the easy, medium, hard. It's like beta, gamma, and alpha, or something like that. But um, yeah, you need all different bits and pieces to, to fight them. But all in all, Primation, I think it's been a, pr a productive day. Um, we, we managed to go cave artifact hunting, and we actually got, what was it called? Artifact of the Hunter. Good bloody stuff. Artifact, oh crap. Artifact of the Hunter. We managed to get a Spino and show you the imprinting. We took on an Alpha 116 Rex, um, an Alpha, I think it was 16 Rex, two Carnos. Uh, on the way there and back, I took on like three Alpha Raptors as well. All in all, it's been mad. We've got the electric set up. So again, in the background, I'll be breeding more and more and more Spinos in preparation for the Broodmother. Next episode will be more cave hunting. We're going to go get the two new artifacts in the next one. And I'll also try, if I can, I'll try to tame a Dodicarus in the background and try and get some baseballing done. So I can basically show you start to end when you first join in within 10, 10 episodes how to fight the Broodmother. But yeah, with that being said, Ramation, I'm waffling enough. Me and Roosterfield are swimming away quite, quite majestically. <laughs> get crafting for survival. I'll see you all in the next episode.